Hello, this is Sean Porter, Principal Consultant with Infront Consulting Group. Today with a quick demo on how to have your OS deployment task sequences prompt for a computer name. And where we quite often see this come up is if you have uh, lab environments or certain types of deployments like unknown computer deployments where you want to be able to prompt for a computer name as you are initiating a deployment. Uh, quite often in Configuration Manager OS deployment we're using zero touch deployments which uh, will already utilize uh, known computer information within uh, configuration manager's database, like you've imported the MAC address and computer name, uh, or you're rebuilding an existing machine which is already known to the environment. Uh, when you're using unknown computer support, uh, you can have a zero touch deployment, but quite often you're left with a computer name uh, that ends up being something like mini NT with a mixed up hash name at the end, which is less than desirable. Now, there's certainly uh, scripts and other things that you can do to name that, but sometimes you just want a really quick way to uh, provide this functionality. And what I found in certain uh, proof of concept environments or other scenarios is that simply utilizing this quick little uh, trick will allow you to provide this functionality without a whole lot of investment or effort in developing some kind of scripting solution. So uh, really what we're going to do here is we see we have the unknown computer support or unknown computers uh, collection here and we have the properties up and uh, the little uh, feature that we're going to use in config manager is the collection variables tab. Now collection variables can be used for any number of different software deployment or uh, OS deployment type functionalities and, and uh, tricks that you can do and in this case we're just going to utilize it here to prompt us for a computer name. So the variable that we're going to end up using is OSD computer name and this variable is a known uh, configuration manager one that's used for any number of different uh, things in configuration manager so we're just going to enter in that here OSD computer name in the name field I'll uncheck this field and we're just going to leave the value blank so by leaving this blank it's going to prompt the task sequence engine to um, ask us for that information when we start it's going to say hey this uh, notice the value is zero we need to be able to have some information in here before we move forward so this is really the trick to it so we're just going to go ahead and leave that variable empty and hit OK and we have it entered here and of course, like uh, anything else here, we can have a number of different variables that are added to this or any other deployment collection. This isn't limited to just the unknown computer um, collection. We can utilize this on any of the other collections you've set up for OS deployment. So we set this up. We'll go over here and take a look at our deployments. You can see that we have our Windows 8.1 deployment uh, targeted towards this machine. So now with the variable set and this deployment in place, we'll be able to uh, kick off a deployment and uh, select it and then we'll be prompted for our variable. So I'll go ahead here, just click apply, click OK, and we're just gonna flip over to our Hyper-V machine here. And so we've already got this one booted here, and this could be network booted, CD booted, whatever you have. And uh, we'll just go ahead and kick this off and uh, check for our policy. And once we get our policy, we'll be able to see the list of task sequences available to us. So once we have our task sequence list here available, we'll just go ahead and pick uh, Windows 8.1 deployment, which is what we have. Of course, you could have more than one here, but it doesn't really matter. In this case, it's whichever um, collection that this machine is in that the deployment is running from is going to cause that task sequence variable to prompt. So we'll go ahead and hit Next. And you can see now that we've now got this new field, which you wouldn't normally see here, uh, that allows us to go ahead and select um, the variable that we want to set. So of course we could have multiple variables here which could be any number of things that we want to configure during the task sequence deployment but in our case here OSD computer name. I'm going to go ahead and double click on this see the field and then I can type in a computer name here. So I'll just type in computer uh, 2014 whatever you like in that field. This will be the end uh, result. When you rebuild the machine, this will be the computer name that is assigned to it. Uh, go ahead and click OK. You see the value is set here. Any other ones that you need to do, you could of course set that at the same time. We hit next and this machine is going to start rebuilding itself and using this variable. There's no other changes that need to be performed in the task sequence engine itself. It's really just setting this variable on the collection and, uh, and then taking advantage of it once we kick it off. And generally, again, we typically find the most use for this in the unknown computer support because that's generally generally where machines are, are kicked off without any kind of background information um, and without any additional scripting effort. We can utilize the power of uh, variables within the uh, configuration manager's task sequence engine and uh, provide ourselves a nice quick and easy solution to it here. I uh, hope you can utilize this in your lab or in your production environments and it's been a value to you. Thanks for listening. This has been Sean Porter with Infront Consulting Group.